Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 463. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. And well, we got some news for you this week. Kind of old news, really. A lot of explaining to do. But let's hop right into it. So, new Pip and Sunny toy images appear. Uh, some brand magazine out there is the uh, out there in the wild has posted up to up two new images of upcoming Pip and Sunny toys. Pop looks to include a mic stand, hinting that they really are going to be pop star roles. Hmm. Okay. They also seem to heavily focus uh, they also seem to be heavily focusing on both YouTube and Netflix for the foreseeable future. I expect to see this in autumn slash winter of this year. <coughs> So, um, let's see. Nothing much to talk about as of yet. And, yeah, um, new toys, new figures. Um, I don't know. I kind of like the old one better. But this one, you can clearly tell that the molding is a bit different. Uh, the wing is different too for Pip. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't say much because <clears throat> they're not in my hands to review. And also, yeah, YouTube and Netflix seem to be the avenue for where they're going to drop the show. So that's going to be very interesting coming forward from this. Um, other than that, I got no idea. Like previously mentioned, we are going to get the main five. So here they are. Um, <coughs> so this is a poster. Uh, friendship is still magic with My Little Pony. Discover a brand new group of ponies from a whole new generation. Okay. For a whole new generation. New adventures. We are expanding the Ponyverse with new friends, new adventure, and magic, magical discoveries for all licensing. <laughs> oh God, no. Um, so yeah, um, nothing much to be said about this. This seems to be one of those things where we'll just have to wait and see. We we are just a few days away, so a okay. Let's move on to the next one. Atomic Cartoons hiring CG artist for upcoming My Little Pony G Five Netflix series. <coughs> the Vancouver-based Automatic Cartoon has opened up application for a few CG designer roles for the upcoming Netflix My Little Pony series. This is the first time we've had complete confirmation that the series will also be CG following the movie on that front. If you would like to apply, you can fill out the job application over here. Requirements include prior CG work experience, a strong nervous portfolio, the ability to work in Canada legally, and the use uh, and and the uh, usual uh, wrangling to learn. Yep. So, hmm, this is one of those interesting things. <coughs> um, mm, I, I don't know what to say. This is one of those things where uh, if you've done CG and have work experience with it, then go ahead and try. But with the whole pandemic still going about, moving to Canada from anywhere else is going to be very difficult. And if I'm not mistaken, um, there are some other companies that do CG work locally. Uh, okay, uh, if you remember, 
Malaysia, India, uh, they are some companies that do um, CG work. Like what, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the 2019 Ninja Turtles, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, a company in Malaysia and I think a company in India did animation work for them and so on. We'll see. I mean, um, this one clearly wants to be um, local. Like, they, they, they want their uh, hooves or they want their manpower to be Canadian locals. Or find a way to go to Canada nowadays. Who knows? So, we will see. We'll see. I mean, uh, Atomic Cartoons, I haven't heard of them before. Well, I haven't seen anything, anything much from them so i got no idea maybe they did a lot cg work that is so yeah um that's going to be very interesting moving on forward so let's move on to the next one and next one is kotobukiya opens pre-order for princess celestia yay so following princess luna celestia is now available for pre-order over at kotobukiya's web store for a hundred and fifty dollars She's a bit more pricey than uh, wait, what? She's a bit more pricey than I think that's supposed to be Luna. <clears throat> but anywho, uh though you get a bigger pony for the trade off. Go pick her up over here. The exper uh, the ex expected release date is anywhere from December of this year to February of next year. Yes. So, yeah, this is one of those cool things. If you're uh, let's see. I have seen some of the figures, so let's go to the website. Yep, figures look cool. So, this is Sideshow. I got no idea if this Kotobukiya's official store or not. <coughs> But as you can see, the figures look really cool. Uh, the hair molding and so on. I mean, this is a good figure and it's worth the price. But the price is a bit expensive. Oh my god. And yeah. And when you look at it, this is this is just great. This is just great. So, yeah, having, what, both of them, that would be really cool. The pony figures and so on. And yes, uh, it seems that Celestia is a bit bigger than normal. And this is the full range of collection. Yep, wow, this looks really great. And something struck me. Um, the figures for Celestia and Luna are separate from the main uh, platform whatever you call base so yeah um that is really cool so let's move on to well next topic and what have i been doing with my week so <clears throat> i have a lot of explaining to do ah boys um honestly the most easily explainable thing is that I was sick. I was ill. Um, had fevers and so on. Yes, so that made me not able to record because I wasn't dead in the water. So I uh, took a break and then it left over with uh, the what, eighty fifty three celebrations and so on. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm um, doing this now, recording it as soon as I can, then going to be posting it like normal. There, there's a lot of things that is be going on. Like one of the few things that is going on is that the health reason and whatnot. So yeah, uh, for now I'm just gonna roll with the punches and go with it slowly and see how things go. Because it is not easy. 
That's all I can say. That is not easy. <clears throat> um, so other than that, I think that about wraps it up. Okay. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themgsumer.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MGS show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, stitch radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on smoothlife.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe and read us on iTunes and stitch radio for the MBS show review and discussion podcast. Over there, you'll catch me, Totera, reviewing the pony episodes, comics, and specials. Sometimes we like to do other things than ponies. And those are cartoons, games, animes, and movies. And also comic books. So yes, uh, if you like for the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Okay, but the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master of Black, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.